So this is going to be my review of, GI, of Street Fighter vs. G.I. Joe, or Street Fighter X G.I. Joe, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I got this at a, mega, at, um, at a convention I was at, along with another crossover, which I don't know if I'm, like, hyped to read. <laughs> um, I'll, you'll probably, but you probably will see a review of it at some point, so yeah. I found this by accident. I was just flipping through some uh, trades, and lo and behold, I found this. And I've always wanted to read this. I really have wanted to read uh, this crossover, because it's something you'd never think you would see happen. G.I. Joe crossing over with Street Fighter? An 80s cartoon crossing over with a fighting video game? Yeah, sure, I'm in. And I read it. And it's certainly a comic. Now look, it's not bad. It's in no way a bad comic book. In no way is it a bad comic. In fact, I really enjoy the artwork. In fact, the artwork is some of the best parts because it really makes everything fluid, especially with the uh, the fights. Uh, but I'll get into a moment of why this kind of hurt. Uh, um, this story is, like, it leaves a lot to be desired. So the story is is that uh, Destro and Bison have teamed up to create a uh, tournament on an uncharted island in which both the Street Fighter characters and G.I. Joe have come together to fight in order to find out what uh, Bison and Destro are building. And yeah. Now the weird thing about this comic is that this just throws you in to the into the semifinals. Like yeah, it literally throws you into the semifinals with the last uh, the last few characters. And they do tell you that there were other characters that were beaten, like Ken was beaten, Shipwreck was beaten. Um, also, by the way, this fight right here, Vega and, and, and Snake Eyes, a fight I wanted to see when this crossover happened, Vega and Snake Eyes throwing down, that doesn't happen. In fact, a lot of fights don't happen in here, and this is treated like a tournament of sorts. And you do get some fan favorites, like, of course, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, um, uh, Jinx is here from Street Fighter, I mean, excuse me, um, not Street Fighter, G.I. Joe, um, you know, Bison's here, Kami, Guile, Chun-Li, Ryu, um, Rufus is here for some reason. Also, a character from Street Fighter I don't think anyone asked to see again, Haycon. Does anyone remember Haycon? You don't? Good. <laughs> yeah, does anyone remember Haycon? Or Hakan? Uh, anyone? No? Also, another G.I. Uh, speaking of uh, characters no one thought we'd see, um, ever is Croc Master from G.I. Joe. If you don't know who Croc Master is, Croc Master is pretty much the head of security and he looks like a he looks like Bane with a crocodile. Not like he looks like Killer Croc mixed with Bane. He just has a pet crocodile and he's the head of security and reptile wrangler. He's mostly been seen as like a he's usually just an action figure. I don't think he ever showed up in the cartoons. If he did, he's totally forgettable. But yeah, Croc Master um is in here. And again, another character no one really asked for. Zartan also shows up, but it's really cool how they bring him in um, as a master of disguise and disguising himself as a Street Fighter character. I don't want to say which one, but you'll be surprised when you find out. Like, oh, <laughs> makes sense. No one would suspect. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's the weird thing about this comic is that it just throws you in. In fact, when I started reading this, I was like, is this book two? Is this, no. In fact, I was looking through, because in the uh, trade I got, it shows you all the, um, it tells you, the writer of this comic, all, um, Aubrey uh, Stinson, uh, Stilson, I can't pronounce that last name, um, pretty much says that, yeah, there were a lot of fights I wanted to do, but I, you know, I just couldn't get around to them, so here, have, I'll just give you a quick update of fights I wanted to do, but didn't do. So this is the six issue comic. I feel like um, the writer of this wanted to do a 12 issue, but got cut down to six issues. So you are thrown into the middle of a co of a comic that you're like, oh, okay, I just gotta catch up. Oh, Ken's not here. Shipwreck's not here. Oh, Roblox, that's cool. He's in here. That's okay. Oh, he got taken out by Hakon. And then, um, but keep in mind, it does hold. Uh, um, even though, yeah, this does feel like it should have been longer. Like, again, it should have been, like, this feels like it should have been at least a couple issues longer, and you're thrown, it's a six, and keep in mind, this is a six-issue comic as it is, and it gives you what you what you came for, Street Fighter and G.I. Joe characters throwing down. Trust me, you, you get that <laughs> in spades. Um, but it feels like it should, like, it feels like you're thrown into the middle of a story, and that's what really hurts it for me, is that you really have to play catch-up with all of this. 
Now, there's cool reveals at the end, especially um, a few things of how it ties with Street Fighter and G.I. Joe, but there are other times where I'm like, okay, this happened. I wish I saw that, or wish I saw that. Or, like, Jinx in here is apparently being trained by Ryu. Yeah. Ryu, um, and also, another confu another thing that surprised me is that out of nowhere, Jinx can use the Satsui no Hado. And I was like, okay. Alright, I guess. I was just like, well, that came out of fucking nowhere. Uh, no, really. Jinx getting the, using the Satsui no Hado was like, the moment I went, sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, man. And the big villain they have to fight at the end isn't Bison, it's Rufus. It's Rufus. Yeah, y you guys know Rufus, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's the big enemy. And it's not because, oh, it was all Rufus' scheme, no. Um, apparently, the scheme is, is that Destro and Bison are working together to build a psycho drive and then mass produce them for Cobra. Um, and yeah, that's a really cool idea. And unfortunately, the psycho drive's energy gets caught by Rufus and he gets turned into a giant monster thing and creates like evil doppelgangers that the G.I. Joe and Street Fighter characters team up to fight. So yeah, that's. It's, um. It's something. This comic is certainly something. Like I said, this actually feels more like Street Fighter at times. This feels more like a Street Fighter story than a G.I. Joe comic, or uh, like a Street Fighter and G.I. Joe comic, excuse me. And I, it, with crossover, with a rule of thumb with crossovers with me is that you balance out um, both characters, honestly. And there is times where it does feel more Street Fighter than G.I. Joe, but there is enough G.I. Joe stuff in here um, to keep you interested um, for the most part. But there are some fights I really wish I had seen, like Ryu and Snake Eyes fighting, or Ryu and Storm Shadow throwing down. Um, I did like, I did get my wish, because one of the fights I wanted to see was Gung Ho and Guile throwing, uh, fighting, and I got that. Um, I wish I had seen, like, Scarlet and, Ch and, Ch and Cammy fighting. That I, wanted, uh, I, wa I really wanted to see was, like, Cammy fighting, like, Lady J or Scarlet. Um, but yeah, I guess we had to make room for Hakon and Croc Master. Yep. <laughs> Eh, it's fine. It's a. To it's a. It feels well. Like it, it it gives you what you what you came for. It gives you what you what you came for. Street Fighter characters and GI Joe characters fighting. I just wish that it was more. It wasn't. It was more like a actual storyline, like um, instead of like a tournament. Because this feels like a video game no one wanted to do. But I'm not saying this is totally bad. If you really enjoy Street Fighter and GI Joe, go check it out. Honestly, go. I would say, I recommend this, but this isn't a full buy, this is a $20 book, I got this for 11 bucks, I got this for ten, for half that, and honestly I got what I paid for. <laughs> That's what I feel like, I, I feel like I got what I paid for, honestly. And again, it's not bad, it's not the worst crossover I've ever read, it just kind of makes me feel, man, I really wish I read, like, I feel like this should this story should have been strung out. I mean, Doctor Who and Star Trek got eight issues. And it, although, to be fair, a lot of that comic is a lot of meandering, honestly. To be, yeah, to, looking back, it, it's a lot of, uh, you know, Star Trek and Doc, the Star Trek Doctor Who crossover is a lot of meandering. At least with this, it goes right from the get-go. Like, there's no, like, oh, you know, we gotta solve this mystery, or there's this subplot. It's more like, no, we're a G.I. Joe Street Fighter, Street Fighter and G.I. Joe characters beat the shit out of each other. And trust me, gives you what you want. But the things like Jinx training, like, like they just tell you right out the gate, Jinx has been training, been trained by Ryu. I was like, all right, that's a thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, like I said, it's not terrible. And if you are a fan of both Street Fighter and GI Joe, you're probably gonna like this. But I would say this is definitely like a discount book. This is definitely like I wouldn't pay full price for it. Um, so yeah. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you, if you've read it, what did you think of Street Fighter X G.I. Joe? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Um, comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys later.